Let us pray together right in the mountains. The hour has come. But let's stop. Don't waste time. My God, this world is so wicked for a man to be at home in these days. This world is so wicked for a man to believe that I am going to build a house on his own. This world is so wicked to a man to believe that I'm going to drive my own cars on his own. This world is so wicked for a man to believe that my document is going to manifest or they're going to grant my document in that office. This world is so wicked for a woman to believe that if I marry this man, I will going to have peace. This world is so wicked for a man to believe that my children are going to make it well. Now look at your life today. You believe in God from January to this day. Believe in God that God is going to bless you. Believe in God. I don't want my followers to experience. Say, and I know. Delay is there. It's too much around you. Failure, sickness, disappointment, frustration is too much. Some people are thinking, say, oh Lord. When am I going to now receive a father to direct me? They have taken everything in your dreams. You are still watching at them and believing God. No, the hour has come. Trust them anointed. Remember, I will tell you what to do in order to save you. The Bible says a miracle took place right in Canaan. What happened? There are certain things that need to be done. What are the things? Jesus Christ did not just come and now say, hey, this water turn to now to wine. No. He said, go and bring the pot, bring the water. And he brought them together before this happened. The enemies that who cannot kill you from January, the enemies that who they could not kill you in the month of June, the month of April, the month of May, March. The month of July, right now, there is a war coming. What is the war? The war is about you and your family, about you and your destiny. I'm talking about. You have to prepare yourself before these people will now come and attack you. A man that will prepare before the attack, always be the winner. Those who also back up, you prepare yourself first, and also you back yourself up with God to be the winner. Remember the time of Joshua. Something happened. In the book of Joshua, Joseph 6, verse 4, 5, down, the Bible says, Joshua prepared himself in order to attack Jericho. If he would have not prepared himself to attack Jericho before, nothing would have happened. Now, the more you prepare yourself, so also God is good to now prepare your destiny for you. Brethren, the hour has come again. I don't know. There are many people that are planning to buy cars. Where is your car? There are plenty of people that are planning to build houses. Where is your house? There are people that are planning in order to marry. Where is your marriage? Do you think that is ordinary? It is not ordinary. The people that they could not stop you, they cannot now kill you in order to now. For you to see this day, they are not happy. The people are now gathered together. They said, yes, last fights. Embermont called last fights. The gateway to Embermont, who leads you? <laughs> picture is very fine. Your picture is very beautiful. And yes, you are not married. Yes, you are still suffering. I'm not happy. The compound where you are, hey, it's very fine. But landlord is on your head. I'm not happy. I'm not happy. While your children are giving you some time, it's not ordinary. Look for somebody that who I'm touched by God. Now, the Lord will reveal a secret to me in order to reveal it to you. That's why I'm passing this message to those that who are looking for that promotion, looking for that job, looking for that business to move forward that could not make it. Let us come together and pray right in the mountains. The Bible says, Joshua, when you go 
the revelation I'm giving to you, the Lord Almighty of Israel, move seven times around Jericho and the wall of Jericho must fall down. The enemy's plan will be destroyed. Now, the Lord has sent me in order to pass this message to you, brethren. I will tell you what to do when you come in order to save you in the member month for you to receive the goods and the glory that they have taken away from you. Come over. Try my God in this ember month. I'm not happy when people are not praying. It seems the prayers are not working. I'm not happy when people are not fasting. It seems fastings are not working. I'm not happy when people are not going to all nine. It seems all nine are not working for them. If this mountains can make me to become like this, what about you? This mountains have made me to be happy. It's going to make you also to be happy. We are going to enter into the mountain of mercy and grace in order for you to overcome these attacks that are coming. I'm not happy. You are not a beggar. You are not a complainer. The people that who are helping you stop better than you. We are going to enter into the mountain for prayers, for deliverance, for healing, and also the prophetic grace. We are going to also enter into the mountain where I am, the mountain of no regret. Seven mountains I have counted. We are mountain of mercy and grace. Number two, maternal mountain of power. Then we have fire mountain. Mountain of Bethel. We have a mountain where I am. You are seeing me right now. There's a mountain. I want to take you to Mountain of No Regret. Regretting for a long time, but come and try. Let us pray and see the battle. You have to prepare yourself before the battle. So who are thou that your sister, your brother, your, your friend that says that you cannot make it? Who is that the uncle, your auntie? Come over for this prayer meeting. Try my God. Ember, much. It's going to vomit all your blessings unto you. That you are in one a rental apartment, even for you to pay a rental apartment, you cannot pay it. I am not happy at all. Come, because there are things that which there are places that you need to go and pray for you to receive. You believe in only your house, your home prayers in your house, praying and praying. How long have you prayed in that your room that the answer did not come? How much have you prayed in that house, in that your home that the answer did not come? I'm not happy. Look for a father. That who can carry you to the mountain? The Bible says, Jesus Christ carried Peter, John, James. Let's go to the mountain.
I'm Prophet Jeremiah Moses Faith. And right now, we're just for you right now in the mountains. Come, let us pray together. Deliverance, healing, breakthrough, ember, month. This is a gateway to the ember month. Watch your screen. First not anointed. You're going to use the oil. You see the gateway to the ember month. Use that oil. Then you're going to now get that handkerchief. I hear that handkerchief. It's always be in your pocket. When you're about to enter into the ember month, you're going to now get the handkerchief. Are you hearing me? That's always be in your pocket when you're going out. Because the ember bomb is a, an hour of accident, untimely death, different kind of things are happening. Get the handkerchief. Get the book of life. Because I will go to now expose some secret things right in this book for you to now, for you to succeed in life. Also, you have to now, your oil, remember, don't worry. I'm going to now anoint you. This ember month, the things that the enemies have taken away from you, to bring them back to you. This is the fire anointing. This anointing, or it's the gateway opener. What is that door that closed against you? That gate that closed against you. This ember month is going to open for you. God bless you. Love you. There's no time for you to not wait at home. Let somebody lead you. This is Temeyes. Temeyamao, just come and receive the power of God. Follow me.